Right, good morning everyone. Hello. Hello. Now, today we're going to talk about corn again. But corn deep processing. Anybody have any ideas on that? Yes? No? So let's have a look. Corn deep processing, okay? Now, for us, we don't know what it is, but in the industrial world, we take our corn, which is grown by the farmers, and then what happens to the corn once it's grown? Farmer grows the corn, where's the corn go? Eat. You eat it, yes, but do you go to the farm and eat it? We buy it. You buy it, yeah, so it has to go to the shops and people will sell corn and then we will go to the shops and buy it. Okay? Now, corn deep processing is a concrete business, okay? It has a huge infrastructure and it expands along many industrial chains, okay? Now, what does that mean? So it's a big industry and it stretches along increasing and adding value of products hmm it's just a corn but to me it's a corn yes is it a corn to you is it a corn to you yes it's corn but a corn is just not only a corn it can be turned into many other things does anybody know what else a corn can be turned into oil Oil. Then, mm. what if I said clothes? Yes. You can wear. You can wear a corn. Can you imagine that. I'd look good as a corn. Huh? So let's find out what we can do. Right. Now, corn itself is a food. It's a vegetable, it's a fruit, it can be a grass, it can be something else, but we call it a vegetable, okay? Now, for us, we just buy corn and eat it, but a corn given to factories and other buildings can turn into something else, okay? So, where do we get the corn from? From farmers? From the farmers, yeah? So the farmer grows the corn and then he sells the corn yeah, to shops and to businesses. But as you can see, we've got pictures here of factories, okay? Yes. So what do you need to run a factory? What do you need to run a factory? Workers. Workers, building, power. Most importantly, you need workers and managers. So your simple corn is providing people with a job, security, an income. Yeah? Because one day you could be working with your corn and in many years later, you could be a manager in that company where you work yeah like working in mcdonald's if you work in mcdonald's you have no stars you start off washing the vegetables and then you learn to cook and then you go to the till and then eventually you get one star two star three stars four stars five stars and then you can be a manager because you know everything in that job you started from the beginning and you worked your way to the top. So for, for us and people who work in this industry, you can have a career and make money for the rest of the time you're working. Right, so the factories can do things with the corn and then it can be taken to our homes as different products. So what products can we get from a corn? Oil. Oil? Let's have a look. Oh. 
No, you have to finish it first. <laughs> Doesn't work, okay. So, not to worry, we'll look at that at the end. So, all these people are involved in our factories to turn our corn into something else. Now, with today's world, we have three problems, okay? Three big problems. They are agriculture, rural areas, and farmers. Now, it's important for us to solve these problems because we need to fix them so we can benefit ourselves later on in the future. Agriculture. The climate is changing. Every day is a different day. It's getting hotter, there's less water. The ozone layer, pollution will affect farmers, okay? Agriculture. Farmers are going to have problems with growing crops. Now, a farmer has a big farm. He has lots of land, lots of acreage. But rural areas, what's a rural area? Anybody know? Countryside. Countryside, yeah, that's one main example. Countryside. Now, in the countryside, do you have a big city? No. Do you have a big town? No. Is it like a village, really small? So we can say there's not much in rural areas. So may maybe a couple of shops, a restaurant, a doctors, maybe a school. Now, if you are a very young person, are you going to get a job that pays you lots of money in a rural area? No. No. Because a rural area is a very small place that's still growing. It's expanding, its industry is slowly getting bigger and bigger. You know, you could have small houses, and then as it gets bigger, you get bigger houses, then you get big towers, then you get big parks, and people will come to these areas and invest money, and then help the local community. But most importantly, we need to help the farmers. You want corn, you like corn, you want to eat it, yes? yes. So if a, if a farmer's got a problem, he needs help. So we have to help them, okay? Now, there's our corn, okay? Here we have it in its husk. Here we have corn on the cob. And if you remember, if you take one off, I told you it's a kernel, okay? Now, for us, we just eat the corn, okay? We just eat the corn, and then what do you do with the, the cob? What do you do with the cob? Put it in the bin, yes? Yes. Yeah. You put it in the bin. But what happens if I said there was another thing you could do with the corn, yeah? You just don't bin something, you can recycle it. Yeah, when you take something old and turn it into something new. Yes, you recycle it. Now, for example, corn has a bioproduct, okay? Very simple. It has one other use. Alcohol. Hmm, alcohol. So you can take alcohol from corn, but if you eat a corn, do you, do you get drunk? No. No? No. No. If you eat an apple, do you get drunk? Because you, you can get alcohol from an apple. No. No. So for us, we can get alcohol from corn. We can also get other products from corn. We can get corn grains, you can get food from it, you can get powders and flowers. And don't forget, corn is a very healthy food. It's full of protein and very low fat. And if you remember last time I told you, for the ladies, it's very good for collagen. Yeah? Increases your collagen levels, makes your skin nice and tight, and you don't get redness and patches on your skin. The main industries of corn, yeah, trade, equipments, the processing technologies, and 
corn development. Now, corn is a major industry. Now, we're not talking about a small industry, we're talking about a huge industry because there are three corn belts. Yes, there's the American corn belt, the Chinese corn belt, which is here in Jilin, and you have the Ukrainian corn belt. And together, combined, they are the three cor golden corn belts of the world, which span over 13 countries. Now, for us, the number one producer of corn products is America, okay? Now, not because it's a big country, but they have worked out how to turn this simple corn into something else. Now, this is going to sound a bit crazy, but they have developed, okay, more than 3,000 different products you can make from that. Wow. Now that is impressive, it really is what you can make from a corn. So what can you make from a corn? Anybody know? You can make starch, starch, oil, alcohol, sugar, sugar, Carpets, clothes. As for the girls, you may may use it. Makeup, cosmetics. Yes. Anything else? Beer. Beer. So there's many different things you can make just from using this one food we eat. Okay, just one food. Now, I said you can make clothes from corn. Does it feel, doesn't look like a corn? How do you know if you're wearing corn? Smell it. <laughs> May smell. But then we have this issue with other people, okay? Now, some people are gluten-free. And some people are vegetarians. And some of these people, can't wear clothes that we can because it comes from an animal. Now, it sounds silly, but we all wear shoes. Leather comes from animals. But you can now buy shoes that are made from corn to keep the vegetarians happy. Yeah, so just think, you could be wearing corn or using a corn product every day and you don't know. Right, starching process. Corn, chemical, alcohol. Fuel, ethanol. Hmm, so these are different industries, but alcohol? We can get alcohol from corn? Now, with alcohol, we break it down into two different parts. Pure alcohol, we cannot drink. Yeah? Pure alcohol is used in hospitals, cleaning products, because it's so strong and it will kill all the bad things. Fuel ethanol. Fuel. So that means we can use it for power. Right, now the starching process. Okay, that is a big machine. Okay, so you take your corn, it gets put into the starching machine, it's going to get scanned, it's going to get washed, it's going to get squashed, and eventually it's going to be turned into something new. Yeah? Starch. Now, we said chemical, okay, alcohol. Now, the engineers have taken the corn and they've turned it into this very highly used chemical alcohol. Now, it can be used for all sorts. Cleaning could be used in hospitals. 
Ja? Fuel ethanol. Now, who drives a car? Anyone? I drive a car. You drive a car, okay. Is, is your car petrol, electric, or a hybrid? Petrol. Petrol. Yeah, petrol. Petrol, okay. Now, is petrol cheap? Oh, uh, no. Petrol is uh, expensive. Expensive, yes. Petrol is expensive. So, fuel ethanol. Now, over the next 20 years or so, our car industry is going to change because the price of fuel is so expensive that most people now are going to buy electric cars because there's no fossil fuels and you'll see everywhere you go electric taxis electric cars yeah you can go home and charge them but now we're thinking we can run our cars on corn because we can make fuel from the corn. So imagine it, driving your car powered by corn, okay? So that's quite a good use. We grow corn, so that means we can always have corn to replace it. As long as we have the process of turning the corn from its raw state into another substance and it's taken to the factories to be used. Right, equipments. Yeah. Now, for the equipment, in a factory there's lots of equipment, isn't there? You're gonna, but to have the equipment to work, you need the workers. You need the product, which is the corn. It has to be moved there, has to be washed, has to be screened, has to be crushed, okay? And it has to go into the machine and go through a process one by one by one until it does a full circle and becomes its final product at the end. Now, technology. So, in a nutshell, we'll take our corn from its raw state, which is when it's in its husk, and then in these industries, it has to go through a set process from raw material to screening, looking for bugs and anything like that. Then you have to peel your corn, yeah, because you might just want the kernels, not the, the cob. And then you need to wash it, and then you need to cool it, they need to dry it. Then you still need to look at the corn to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And then you turn it into its final product. And then once that's done, it's sent away to the shops to be sold. Or to go back to the start and be turned into something else. Right. One of the best selling uses of corn is oil, okay? Now, does anybody cook here? Anybody cook? I cook. Do you use corn oil? Because for me, I use peanut oil and I don't like it because of the taste. So, do you use corn oil? Yes, yes. Yeah? Is it healthy? Yes. It tastes nice? No taste. No taste. No strange taste. No strange taste, okay. Now, oil is also used in restaurants as well, so you can sometimes taste what oil they're using. Right. Corn meal. Now, that sounds a bit strange. You can eat that as a meal? No. To me, that's just corn flakes. But if you were to mix that up with other foods, you could make a nice little meal. Now, there's many things in the corn. Proteins. Now, corn. Yeah. Just one thing has so much to offer you. Yeah, 
So when it's grown in the fields, okay, you just think corn, I like it, I want to eat it. But this one plant, stroke vegetable, has so many uses throughout the world. It can give you money, it can create jobs. It can be used again and again if you recycle it. And then we can, we can wear it. Our clothes can be made of corn, our carpets are made of corn, maybe our curtains are made of corn. Yeah? Because 3,000 different products and we don't know if we are using corn or not. Yeah? Right. Things we have with corn. Corn beer. Yeah? Anybody like beer? Anybody tried corn beer? I haven't, but I would like to. Corn flake. Now, corn flakes are good because they're dried, dried food. It means you can buy it now, you could open the packet, you can eat it for your cereal, and then you could tie it up, and you could leave it in the, in the cupboard for two, three, four, five months, and it will not go off. It's a long-lasting product. Cornflakes. Puffed food, crisps. Okay, crisps. And flour. Now, flour can be used for what? Bread. Bread, yeah. So, so was that saying we can make cornbread? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, you can use it for baking. Okay? Now, because it's high in vitamins and minerals, it's also good for children, the elderly, and for people with special uh, disabilities. For example, gluten-free. Or people with diabetes. Right. Crisps. Who likes crisps? I like, I like crisps. crisps, definitely. I love crisps, okay? Puffed food. Puffed food. But did you know, it, to me, when I eat crisps, I think of the potato. Crisps come from potatoes. Yes. Yes? Yes. But this is a corn. Yes. So it's, did you know you were eating corn or did you just think you were eating potato? I think you're eating corn because I can read. <laughs> No, I just thought crisp with potatoes. That was my, you know, a crisp is a potato. Yeah, cornflakes. As I said before, they can be dried, stored, and used for a long time. Yeah, you can have them with milk, have them for breakfast. But this food is like rice. You could eat it and then save it for a long time. Corn beer, okay, corn beer. Anybody tried corn beer? Does anybody want to try corn beer? Me. Uh, I want to try it. Maybe nice, we don't know. Because most beers come from barley. Now, support. We need to support our farmers and we need to support our local community and our province. So with corn, the farmers grow it, they sell it, the money then comes back to the farmers, the money goes into the city and in to improve our infrastructure. Now, because we are a very big producer of corn, we can generate more money into our country, into our province, just from one plant. One plant that we like to eat, and we like to turn into other products. So corn is helping everyone where we live.